So as always, I'm starting with my next eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone, applying that all over my lids to prevent creasing. Next, I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the color Brulee, and I will be setting that uh, concealer that we just used, or that base. This is also going to prevent further creasing. For our first color, I'm taking this Coastal Sense eyeshadow in the color Kokomo Cafe. This does have a little bit of some gray undertone since we are working with cooler toned colors. I thought this would work perfect. Now I'm going to go in with another Coastal Sense eyeshadow in the color Maroon Berry and I will be applying this to the crease and I'm also going to be bringing that to the outer crease and blending it in as I go with my Sigma E40 brush. This is just going to start the, the process of the purple. Next I'm going to go in with this Shiny Cosmetics palette and I will be taking that one and this little palette together. I will be starting with this really deep purple and I will be applying that to the outer crease. This is what's going to give it that really really nice intense smokiness you can go with a more softer color but I just thought this color was absolutely gorgeous and as you can see these eyeshadows are ridiculously um, pigmented I really really like them so I'm going to start blending the colors together and then I go back and just intensify the colors just a little bit more and then do the same thing to the other eye just make sure you blend as you go so that there are no harsh lines Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and I will be applying this to the lid. Um, in a little bit I will be taking a synthetic brush but meanwhile I am just going to concentrate this more towards the lash line. Next, I'm going to go in with this really bright purple, as you can see. It's super, super pigmented, and I do take this on a synthetic flat brush, and I just press it against my lids. That is how I get the most color from these eyeshadows, but, I mean, they're, they're bright as it is, so you don't need too much, but I just like to pack it on, because either way, I do go back and reapply the color. Now I'm going to go in with that same purple color um, that we use on the outer on the outer corner of the eye and then I'm going to start blending the colors together. Now I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the color Shimma Shimma and I will be applying this as my brow bone highlight. I usually don't like shimmery highlights for my brow bone, but because everything was matte, I thought it looked good with it. So Use whatever color you like, but this is the one that I thought it looked good with. <clears throat> now I'm going to go in and do my wing eyeliner. I will just let you guys watch this since there's really not much that I can explain. Eyeliner done. All right, so now we're gonna move on to face. I'm starting with my Maybelline Instant Age Reminder in the color Neutralizer. I did apply my foundation before, and somebody moved me. <laughs> before I was filming, I will leave all that info down below, but I'm pretty much applying this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin. And as always, with my Beauty Blender, I will start to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this is in medium deep and I will just be applying that all over my face to bronze it up and give it a little bit more warmth. I am not doing any contouring today for some weird reason. I always do. I mean this does give me a slight contour but not too intense. I also like to bring that down to my jawline because I want it to look really defined. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to use the Sony Kashuk Illuminating Bronzer in the color Goddess. It is so gorgeous. As you can see, I went a little overboard with it. And honestly, I didn't even realize it that much until after I was editing. So I do apologize for that. But just take a little bit because it does go a long way. I didn't want any blush. So I just went with a really nice bronzy color, as you can see. Now I am going to take this Ulta Illuminating Powder in the color Yellow Diamond. As you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I will be applying that to the high points of my cheekbones just to give it a very luminesque-esque feel to the face. And then we will move on. Now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil and a Lippy Stick. I use Lumiere and Westy and I use these two in combination to create the lipstick that I was wearing. So after you are done with the lipstick application, you are done with this look. I hope you guys enjoy it if you recreate it. Hashtag OMG Lashes. I would love to see you guys' pictures. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.